Hello guys, Dennis here, and welcome back to another episode of Tectum, which is my single-player world, uh, which I love. And uh, we are just uh, doing a little bit of difference in the staircase, because um, that's a bit better. Uh, because I think that is going to do us some good. Uh, I, um, I've decided that I'm going to building right here. And, uh, we are going to be working on a inn this episode. So, I think that's gonna be really good. Uh, I think that's gonna be interesting. And we are probably gonna need a bit more, yeah. Oh, well. But, yeah, so this is gonna be an inn with a sugarcane farm in the basement. Because, uh, I'm thinking, uh, they need sugar to serve their, uh, guests, right? So, I think it makes kind of sense to kind of make it, um, make the building on top of it be a inn, sort of. Nice. I'm wondering how much sugarcane I've gotten now. I emptied out last night before I went to bed. Um, and I've been playing for a few hours now, so I hopefully it's filled up a little bit. I'm gonna show you guys what I've been doing in the meanwhile as well, because I have been working on a few... Things. Let's see, is there no no mouse to spawn, right? No, good. Ah, not, no, it's not a whole lot, but... Oh well, I'm gonna empty it out tonight, and we will see. Uh, but... Uh, yeah, I figured... It would kind of make more sense to have... Uh, to kind of turn it as well, so I didn't need to actually move the road, because that was something I were considering. <laughs> Moving the road, just so we could have the building here. Oh my. That was a hiccup, and I'm sorry. Um, let me... Before we continue with this, before we continue to talk about the inn, which is currently unnamed, oh, I want to show you guys what I've been doing uh, today in between videos from yesterday and today. And uh, the first thing you're going to notice is that this has been finished. I finished that. That was supposed to be an episode, but I... I uh, I will. I weren't really in the mood to be recording, so I'm. Um, uh, I think altogether I had like four, four and a half minutes of me talking, and that was like forty to five minutes. So basically, all of it were like nothing. <laughs> it was silent and uh, bad. So uh, I decided to rather just. Have it done in a future episode. In this episode. And there's one more thing that I have done. Which I want to kind of just show you. I have started a path in between Perio and, La oh, and Lana. Uh, I have been having those kind of issues all day. I can't fly. I can't fly today. Um, but anyway... Uh, so I have uh, been making this path. It's n It doesn't go all the way. It stops right here. But I'm going to go ahead and show you guys what I'm thinking. Uh, so it's going to go all the way and start to turn right here. Then turn all the way right here. And we're going to build a bridge right there. So we can kind of um, connect Lana and Pario that way. Uh, we're kind of considering to build, to build the bridge from the hill there and down to um, to the tiger biome right there. But uh, then I decided that would be weird considering. Uh, also, uh, I would need to chop that part down and I, I didn't want to do that. I didn't want to change too much of the scenery that's right here because I think, I think the scenery from Pario is incredible. I love this scenery. And, uh, like, you have, the, you have the jungle there, you have the ocean right there, you have mountains right there, you have a forest right there. I, I love I love the uh, location for Pario. Um, and I didn't want to change it too much. Like, I think that doing the path right there was changing a bit too much to the, um, to the surrounding area. Uh, and I, I don't want to do that. Not too much. Uh, but, so yeah, that's, that's kind of what I've been up to in between videos, uh, I've, uh, been making the path, and I finished off 
our main sleeping house kind of a deal. And I'm also going to remove these trees at some point. Uh, but um, I may as well actually do it right now. Okay. We are back. And uh, I blabbed for a bit too long. In my opinion. Uh, so the blabbering is taken out of the video. I've rather just... Yeah, this is so much better. Uh, you can actually see the town. Um, so I think that's a whole lot better. And I think that we should go ahead and start today's video. For real. Like, uh, we should start with what I wanted to do this video. And that is getting the... Oh. Wow. Uh, just had a um, bit of a sneeze. Oops. So what I'm thinking is I don't want the building to be all up in the road here. So what I'm thinking is to kind of just... Maybe go right here. Then we can have the wall going here, right? And I'm thinking... Uh, one, two, there. And then one, two, three... No, that's just gonna leave one. That's not gonna be good enough. There we go. That's gonna leave two. And if we take it one, nah. And then we're gonna go there. One, two, three. And then the road is gonna go here, right? Like right here. Um, then we're gonna have the door. One, two, there. Yeah. And then we can kind of go back. Uh, not in. Uh, no, the door is gonna be here. There is the door. And then I'm thinking we're going to drag this one across to be... Let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I think that's a good size. So we need to remove some trees, uh, which is okay because we are actually building in the biome where it's a lot of trees, so... Uh, we do need to remove some trees occasionally. That's all right, I think. And I think we're gonna have this sloping here. Uh, this little hill. I'm not sure what to call it, but... Uh, we're gonna have this here, and... Um, I'm gonna remove this tree as well, because we don't need to have... The leaves being in the way while we're building this, right? I, I don't think that's gonna be any good. Uh, so here we go. There we go. Thank you. Good, good. Um, then we're gonna go ahead and maybe drag it a few more blocks this way just because I want this to be one of the biggest buildings in Lana. Uh, because it's, uh, it's gonna have to have a few rooms where you can kind of uh, which you can uh, rent out and have people staying, and uh, it needs to be big. It needs to be able to house a few people, and uh, be big enough to... Even if it's just a passing by traveler who is kind of looking for a room for the night, they can kind of he head into the town, and they can sleep here. We're also going to have a, maybe one or two... Um, one. One in in between Pario and um, Lana as well. So I think we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five. There. And then we can go ahead and just take this down. Thank you. And we can go ahead and... Oh, wait, no. That's what I meant to do. And dirt. Perfect. And I I think that means we're gonna turn right here. We are gonna go out to about here. Uh, two more blocks, I think. Here? Here, okay. There we go. And that is the size of the inn. I don't think that's a bad size. I think that's pretty big. Um, and probably gonna be the biggest construction in this area, which I've already said. 
Maybe not as tall as the tower, uh, but it's it's gonna be a bit tall. So I think we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five. And then we can kind of turn these guys this way. And then for a second floor, which we are going to be having, we're gonna go uh, one, two, three, four, five. And I think that's gonna be it. I think this is the size. And I think that is pretty great. So let's see. I think that's gonna work. Yeah. I like that. We're gonna go and take a sleep, and I'm gonna continue to work on um, the inn, and we will be back in just a second. Okay, we are back, and I need to actually fetch a couple of shulker boxes because I have full inventory. So I'm gonna take this one uh, because I want to be able to empty out a little bit and that kind of stuff. So, uh, this is what we have for now, um, but it's gonna be a bit more in just a second, but first off, I would like to just empty out a little bit of stuff right here, there we go, and then we're gonna go ahead and make us some birch wood planks, and then we're gonna go ahead and make ourselves. um, I forgot to bring a crafting table, I'm sorry about that, there, and then we can go ahead, oh, and just place that one there, and we can go ahead and make a door. And what I'm thinking is I want to make these guys pretty much the same. So we're going to have that one there, and then we're going to have this one here. But there's going to be a little bit of a difference. Uh, right here, this is, this is going to be more of a garden. Uh, kind of where they're growing their own... Um, <coughs> own food and that kind of stuff uh, because they, they need a steady income of uh, food to be able to serve their guests, right? So this is gonna be kind of a little bit of a garden and uh, the other one is gonna be the actual entrance into the inn and I think that's gonna be pretty good pretty good uh, and what I th what I'm thinking about doing is right here we're just gonna go like so. Uh, because we need a actual wall to kind of protect the entrance, but the rest is gonna go like this, I'm thinking. Uh, we went way past it. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, so I've given it a little bit of a shape as well, because I thought that would be uh, kind of good to do. Let's see, we're gonna go ahead and do that. There we go, thank you. Then we're gonna go ahead and go like this. I think this is going to be a bit more accurate to, for us to do, and a bit better as well. Um, maybe not accurate, but... Uh, you know what I mean, I hope. And then we're going to go right here and bring this one over like so. Uh, and I think this is going to look good. I hope it's going to look good at least. But I'm kind of curious, what could I possibly mix in with the birch wood? Uh, that's something I'm uh, kind of curious about. Uh, what could work well? Uh, sandstone? Endstone? I I'm not too sure. Uh, I think that maybe... Stone isn't gonna really work out. The dark oak wood is a fantastic contrast. Uh, but like, blending the textures, I th think... Hmm... I'm not too sure. There's not a lot of block. No. There's not a lot of blocks that blends, that lends itself very well with, um, with the uh, birch wood. Um. But I think. Think maybe. Uh, let me, let me test one little bit of a thing here. Okay, we are back and we have uh, mostly finished off the building itself. Uh, like, uh, right now I'm going to add roof going on this level. 
and a roof going on that level, which is going to be a bit better than this one, but it's still going to be a bit of a roof here, which I think is going to be great. And uh, the inside is not so great yet. Uh, I'm thinking we're going to spend a couple of episodes on this. Um, like, in total, two episodes. But uh, I uh, think this is great. I uh, could have... I could probably make it even better. Uh, I do realize it's going to be a bit small uh, to have several rooms. But what I'm thinking is we're going to have at least two rooms up here. Uh, downstairs here, we're going to have the counter. We're going to have uh, a couple of rooms, a kitchen and that kind of stuff. Maybe maybe, maybe the rooms will be here, you know. Maybe we can fit, uh, let's see, uh, door, wall, wall, wall. Uh, maybe we can fit three rooms down here. And the two rooms up here is going to be a bit bigger and... Um, all in all, a bit grander, and uh, they're they're gonna have access to a um, terrace. What's to call in English? Uh, uh, this uh, outing area, where you can kind of eat your breakfast. You can um, uh, have room service and that kind of stuff. Uh, with a b uh, maybe maybe we can add a little bit of a uh, little something. Uh, maybe um, uh, oh, what's it called? I don't, I don't remember, but we do have quite a bit of them. I, I do not remember what they're called right now, but, um... Let's see, may, uh, Maybe they're here? Uh, just quickly... Not th they should be here. Honest, but, um... Ah... Oh, I cannot remember... If Oh, and we can't see it because we, we're not in a crafting table. Um, let's see, and now we should be able to see it. Uh, I got a feeling it's in this section right here someplace. Um, no, maybe in building blocks? No, maybe in redstone. After yeah, there's tripwire hook. Maybe we can have some tripwire hook to work as a kind of a bell. And, uh, and you can call for room service that way, you know. And, uh, you know, I think maybe something like that is going to be great. And I do love this building. I do like it. I think it's really good. Uh, I'm kind of noticing right here we need to add a little bit of these guys. I'm glad I had five left. <laughs> uh, so I, I kind of need to just take a little bit of a look around to just make sure that things like this doesn't happen, you know. Uh, let's see, do we have any more? We have some here. Uh, right there, I would like to fix that. Um, I don't currently have that on me. Let's go and fetch some dark oak wood because we do have quite a lot and I, I, I want this to be as good as possible. And um, there we go. That's a bit better. Uh, just running around it, making sure that there's... N yeah, I, I think this is going to work. Uh, and what I'm kind of thinking about adding to this building is... Uh, let's uh, quickly run and take a sleep before any monsters start to spawn around here. I guess uh, that would be bad. Having some monsters around. Maybe a creeper comes up and uh, destroys what I built. That would be really sad. So let's quickly sleep. And uh, then we can see what we can kind of... Um, get it working and uh, have going to kind of... Make it look a bit better overall. Uh, so what I'm kind of thinking about is if we go here, we have some wood. If we go here, we have some of these guys. And we can go ahead and go into the crafting table. We can go and make some fences. Not jungle. Not dark oak wood. Bruce, there we go. No, 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 no. Uh, these guys. Fences. Let's just make a whole bunch. There we go, thank you. And then we can also go ahead and make a few... Come on. A few of these guys, I think we're gonna make a few more. Just because we can. Thank you. I'm not sure if this is gonna be enough, but hopefully it will be. And, um... 
Now, th this is just something I um, noticed on a server. Someone else uh, did this. Uh, shout out to Fulocraft because um, I took a look at his building on Beyond Edgewill and uh, he had this. Uh, he used fence gates instead of fences all around, uh, which I thought looked pretty interesting. And then just doing this to kind of add some something to it. And I think that's going to be a whole lot better. Um, we just need one more gate, but that's okay. And we can even kind of open open them up, but I don't think I want that. I think I want them closed. And I think just adding little bits of that kind of detail is a whole lot better overall. Uh, so what I'm kind of wondering is maybe we will use these as kind of closed windows like so, uh, because um, in this time, in this time period, um, you would be taxed on the number of windows you have in your buildings. Um, at least in my country it was like that. Um, you would be built by... Uh, if, if you go to the main capital here in Norway, um, and you go to the old Oslo, like it's, it's a district called Old Oslo, um, then you're gonna see that they have quite a bit of buildings that has either bricked up uh, windows or um, nailed shut windows or something like that. And that was because they wanted to save money on taxes, they couldn't afford it, that kind of stuff. And uh, I think that is uh, kind of a neat thing to add to the lore of this world. So if we do something like that, Maybe a bit too much. Maybe maybe we can ha actually have an actual window right here. Because uh, uh, we do need some windows in this place. And I think that could work out. And I'm also kind of wondering... Maybe... We go in and do this as well. Uh, maybe there? Adding, adding a little bit of de uh, depth to the building itself, like this. And uh, I think that's gonna work out. Uh, if we do that on... Uh, not like that. Sorry. My bad. If we go and do the same on this to kind of notify that it's supposed to be a window here, but it's been nailed shut, I think that could work. I think so. Uh, so let us go and fetch some windows or some glass panes, they're called in Minecraft. But let's go and fetch some of those and uh, see if maybe it's gonna work out. And uh, we are out of time in any minute, by the way, um, for this episode. So I think we're gonna go ahead and do that. Uh, I may even do some more work on the building in between videos. I think that works. Hmm. It does give it a bit more depth, and that is absolutely something I'm all in for. Uh, so let's go and do this, and there we go. Let's uh, replace these guys as well. There we go. A whole lot more depth, and I think that's going to work for the best for us. Right? I think so. Um, maybe on the inside we could also go, like, uh, barring up the windows where they would be on the inside as well. Just to kind of uh, make it clear that it is actually windows that has been barred up from the inside and the outside, so... Uh, one big window, and uh, the rest has been barred off to kind of save some money, because um, money is hard to come by. It's not always so easy, and I think that's gonna work for us. And I think that we're also gonna go ahead right here and add a window. Uh, just because I want to. Not because I have to. 
there, there, and maybe I think that this is going to be the building with most windows as well. Like something like that. Yeah, feels a whole lot better. Uh, but I think that's all the time we have for today. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy it, don't forget to hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. And um, most importantly, don't forget to have an awesome day. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Okay? Bye-bye.